If you have haemophilia, you probably know that the amount of clotting factor in your blood is lower than most people's. The more time you spend with low clotting factor levels, the more likely you are to have bleeds. The aim of prophylaxis is to prevent bleeds by increasing the level of factor 8 if you have haemophilia A or factor 9 if you have haemophilia B. If you are on prophylaxis, your clinical team will have selected the dose and timing of your factor treatment that works best for you. They may have looked at your bleeding history, how long factor lasts in you as an individual, how good your veins are, and your current lifestyle and what times in the week you are most physically active. Your factor level is at its highest shortly after taking a treatment, but this gradually decreases over time. The time it takes to fall by half is called the half-life. For standard factor 8 treatments, the level of factor 8 in the blood would have dropped by half around 8 to 12 hours after an infusion. Factor 9 stays in the blood a little longer. After an infusion, it takes about 19 to 24 hours for a standard dose of factor 9 in the blood to fall by half. But we're all different. Some people use up factor more quickly than others. To work out how long factor lasts in your blood, your clinical team will take a number of blood samples after an infusion and will measure how much factor remains in each sample. This is your pharmacokinetic or PK profile. There are now factor treatments that can last longer in the blood. These are called extended half-life factor concentrates. They've been specially engineered to have a longer half-life, which means EHL factors decrease at a slower rate than standard factors. To put this into perspective, EHL factor for haemophilia A lasts around half as long again as standard factor 8 treatments. For haemophilia B, there are now two EHL factor products, which increase the half-life to as much as four times the standard factor 9 treatments. For some people, this could provide longer protection from bleeding between doses of factor, meaning fewer injections. For others, it might mean treating at the same frequency, but with a lower dose to give it even more protection from bleeds. It's important to talk to your clinical team, as they will give you more information and help you decide whether personalising your prophylaxis with an EHL factor is a suitable option to help you live the life you want.